Today, three young men being held in the St. Johns County Detention Center shared their stories in hopes of keeping other kids out of trouble. New at 530 Action News Jack's Courtney Cole shares their message and the overall push to stop the violence in local communities. We're trying to save lives. Not just keep them out of jail. That's why Joe Warren, the transition specialist at the St. John's Youth Academy, brought these three young men to visit the children at the Boys and Girls Club in St. Augustine on Monday. While we can't show their faces or give the names of the teens for their protection, what we can show you is how they captured the attention of the children from the moment they stepped in the room. They're not animals. They're not just thugs and thieves, and they, they, they're delinquents that. They made a bad choice. Warren says these young men are now applying for jobs, getting their GEDs, and applying for college. And the St. John's Youth Academy says the importance of today's visit was showing them the importance of keeping their freedom and making the right decisions. Peer to peer is different than an old man getting in front of them talking to them. Zaria Garden said their visit has inspired her to take on the role of mentor for her friends and younger kids at the Boys and Girls Club. It was just like sad because I know like. Couple boys who like I could just see them like being in that position, so like I'm gonna try to like encourage them to like not do that stuff. But the young men are getting something out of this too. So as much as they gave, as much as those young men will get it, then the kids themselves will understand. Hey, you know I can let this go. I, can, I told my story. Reporting in St. Augustine, Courtney Cole, CBS 47, Action News, Jacks.